Hello. This video show you how to install SQL 2012 um, for CRM 2011. My name is Erez David and I am the owner of Dynamic COIL website. So let's begin. The first step I will do is to make sure that I'm following the Microsoft Outlook requirements. You can see all about it in the link above. So the second step will be to create user account. Um, one is for SQL installation, which we call SQL admin. The other one is to run SQL services. And the third one is for running um, SQL reporting services. The third step is, to, is the installation process, uh, which you can read all about it in my website under installation page. The fourth step will be to optimize my SQL, especially for CRM. Um, in this case, I will follow the optimization document of Microsoft. So the installation process. I will enter my SQL machine with the user of installation, which is SQL admin. It is important to configure all three users as a local admin in the machine. And I am now extracting my ISO file in order to get the installation started. Okay, so I'm in my directory and I'm clicking setup. So this is the setup menu. I click in installation and standard standalone SQL server. Um, this will take a few minutes to install service pack 1. I will pause it for you. Now I can close this window and show all the details if something went wrong, like restart pending, firewall and such. In this case everything went well, so the installation is started. Okay, I will accept the license term. Before that, I skip a uh, license key screen. Next, and the setup file will be installed. Okay, the next screen is also a validity check. Clicking next. Okay, so I um, use the first option of SQL feature installation. Um, I will choose database engine and the, this one, this one, and of course also management studio. If you want, it's not uh, necessary, you can install also um, reporting services on this server. Okay, this one I won't be using. And clicking next. This is all the feature that I want for CRM. Let's wait a few seconds. screen also let's see if some errors occur none here I can choose to use either the default instance or name instance in this case I will use the default instance 
which is MS SQL Server. Click Next. Okay, free space. Next. And here I will use the SQL Services account that I created earlier. It will run SQL Agent and SQL Database Engine. Reporting services, I have a special user account for that, which I also created earlier. Now entering their passwords. And don't forget also to set up automatic startup for SQL agent. The other tab in this screen is collision. You can choose which collision do you want. I choose Hebrew. And click next. Here I will add my current user as a system administrator in the SQL Server. Also, in this case, I will add CRM admin and data directory tab. We can choose which directory to navigate the database directory backup, temp, and logs. In ideal environment, I will separate each one for for separate loon. But in this case, it's accessible environment. I will put everything on C. Um, in the previous screen, I choose to install and configure SSRS. Now I will see the details of my installation. This is a summary of all I configured yet. Clicking next, and this will take uh, like 20 minutes. Set up the progress bar here. I will save you the time. So as you can see, my setup completed, and now I close in this window. And this is the tip of the ice of SQL optimization. Um, I'm going to enter my SQL instance. Okay, this is the first time that Management Studio is open, it's going to take a few minutes. And now I can enter my instance with my Windows authentication. Okay, so I'm clicking right click and then properties. And I can review in the general tab everything that I configured. Is now I'm going to limit my maximum Windows memory. And go to security and connection. You can see it's a Windows authentication, not mixed mode. In the advanced, I will choose setup one as a max up and click OK. Okay, so another thing I will do is to set up lock pages in memory for my service account we're 
go to local policy, user right, lock pages in memory, and add SQL services account. Clicking OK, and apply. And now, this is a tip from SQL PFE at Microsoft. In CRM, you should consider uh, changing the ad hoc to enable. You don't have to do it, but is highly recommended. That's it. Um, this is a different subject. When your CRM will be up and running, you should create a maintenance plan in order to maintain the databases on your machine. So you can use SQL Management Wizard and create all the job that you want with the uh, default schedule. I'm using almost all the job that on the wizard and I highly recommend you to do it also. So that's it. Don't forget to back up your databases in order the log file will be decreased and that's it.